Hi everyone, um, I have an update because um, I believe I was actually not measuring uh, my circuit the correct way and uh, this update should bring uh, more light or more questions on the whole thing. Uh, the circuit is operating right now and I'll show you the scope shot. Uh, these are the pulses that are going to uh, feed the uh, MOSFET uh, to switch on and off. So that's the trigger for the MOSFET, so 13 volts, 14 volts peak to peak. The frequency is 661 hertz and the duty cycle is at 7.9%, so basically 8%. Um, so we've got an 8% duty cycle and our voltage is at 167 about volts DC that's straight uh, 120 to the bridge to the uh, uh, capacitor there that's being measured what I've done instead of using a my multimeter uh, to measure the current here I went back to this bulb I know people hate it but I don't care we're going to measure it with resistance from now on and um, I know maybe a bulb is not ideal but I'm just going to do it with this for now at this time this is a very tiny automotive bulb there it is right there and I don't know if you can see that but in there I'll try to zoom in the filament in there is very fine okay there you go you got a shot now of the filament and it doesn't take much power for that filament to start glowing so there it is it's just barely starting to glow right now and I just stopped it at that point and it ends up being at the like I said the uh, 7.9 or 8 percent duty cycle at uh, 661 Hertz now uh, the interesting thing is when I don't uh, circulate uh, collapsing or when I recirculate the back EMF through the uh, diode like I showed um, I get the uh, MOSFET temperature here I am uh, on the MOSFET there uh, it remains very low so if you see that we're at 29 About 29.4 is the highest reading uh, I'm getting off the heat sink there. So at the back right there where the dot is now, that's, that's my uh, MOSFET heat sink. And uh, that's about all I get, the highest temperature. The circuit has been running now for um, about uh, 20 minutes right now, if not uh, closer to half an hour. So with that small amount of energy right now, um, the circuit is operating, there's no heat wasted at the uh, MOSFET there, and it's being circulated at this time, uh, the uh, back EMF, and the magnet is levitating. If you see there, I'll just turn it off there. See the magnet fall down? Okay, so the magnet's levitating, and I've put a tape here to mark the height of this uh, levitation uh, push here all right and uh, the interesting thing that I've done here too is I've put two uh, 22 ohm uh, resistors these are wire round resistors 5% accuracy 22 ohms each they're in series so the 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 uh, recirculating diodes are there in the back right there those two there so when I flip that switch the back EMFs go through this direction through these two 22 ohm resistors and then back into the coil positive side again to get recycled. Now if I take off the two 22 ohm resistors and I go direct obviously the magnet will go up a little bit higher. Okay so what I'm doing now is I'm testing Rosemary's um, heating uh, system with my circuit and there's a good amount of heat being produced here and you might be quite surprised uh, both of those resistors like I said are in resistor series sorry and we're, we have 
what I'm measuring with that unit there, that's a, a thermo, thermostat, electronic thermostat for a barbecue. And um, we got 69. This is the rec correct reading. This is an, an alarm setting there. So this is the correct 69, pretty close to 70 Celsius that it's measuring, which if I turn change that back, okay, 156 Fahrenheit. 69 Celsius on one of those resistors. So both of them should dissipate approximately the same amount of heat. So that one is at 74 and this one here is at 63, 64 about is the highest we're getting. So this is very interesting. We've got quite a bit of heat here. These two resistors, I couldn't hold them. They're that hot. And we're levitating a one pound magnet. I found out the right weight of this magnet and it's pretty well exactly one pound uh, off the uh, coil itself. You're seeing that. And all this with this very little small amount of input energy. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll pause the camera and I'll put this circuit onto straight DC and we'll see what we can get. Okay, we're back. The uh, circuit now is being fed uh, by my Variac, which is going through a full wave bridge vectifier feeding this capacitor. So the positive is coming, uh, well, first going through the bulb and then going through the resistors, the two resistors, to the coil and the negative side is the other side. So the diode there and all that and this pulsing circuit's all disconnected. We have just straight uh, pure DC going through here. The bulb, I've raised the voltage to the Variac and we're now at about 7 volts, 6.9 volts. And the bulb is about at the same intensity as it was with the pulse circuit right now. There's absolutely no height in levitation here of the magnet. There's no way uh, this can get the magnet up. And as you see, our voltage to the, our, uh, our uh, <laughs> you know, I can hold it onto these resistors right now. We've got about 38 Celsius at the very maximum here on these uh, resistors. Now my understanding is energy is heat. And this is the amount of energy that is being displayed by light. And this is heat here that is entering the circuit. I don't believe that we can change that. It doesn't matter if this is 500 volts or if it's uh, 6 volts. Uh, the energy that is going through the circuit is being displayed here by the amount of, of you know, uh, of this filament that is glowing, you know. So if I raise that voltage, I'm doing that right now, okay, the bulb is starting to glow more and brighter and brighter and brighter, all right? So let's see, I'll keep raising the voltage here. And let's see, okay, right now, the magnet is starting to lift, okay? And I'll bring the magnet to the same height as we had there before, just a bit more. All right, so the magnet is now at the same height, approximately. Okay, and look at the brightness of that bulb. All right, and we're at 27 volts. As a matter of fact, it might need to be a little bit more. Let's see here the height. Yeah, right there. That's the same elevation, and we're at 28.4 uh, volts. And that light bulb is totally bright. There's no way we can have that much of a difference. Okay. So that light bulb there is probably, a, that's just a 12 volt car uh, parking uh, light, light bulb. It's very, very fine. Uh, it's definitely at its brightest, uh, probably even too high. And right now the resistors are starting to heat up and everything, but obviously we are putting much more energy in here to get that energy and this work out of the coil here. So that to me is clear enough that uh, the circuit, this circuit is um, possibly indicating uh, more work out uh, when it is in the pulse mode than a straight DC in it. So uh, what I'll do is I'll be doing another test utilizing really resistance.